Hello everybody, welcome back to an SMWC production. Nikki V, the star of the show. Toadswood, I say, barely know, positively certain this was a place I heard the crew was talking about. Virtual reality. This looks like technology alright. Wow, really, really bright. Seems to be the factory of some kind. Perhaps this is where Bowser is producing that technology stuff, didn't he? What you make? Well, I don't even know how to say that. <laughs> Eh? It's imperative we search the premises. Anything Bowser's building can't be good for the Mushroom Kingdom. Or Peach, for that matter. Let's get a move on. We already have half of the eggs and we're about to find another. Why are we still obsessed with finding those eggs? That's pretty much the story of this birthday for Peach and you heard about some magical eggs that Bowser has and wants them. That's a quick recap of this episode. It's looking like a Metroid style. Look at that, it looks like a Spider Ball track. From Metroid Prime. Which I really enjoyed Metroid Prime. I wish I had the capabilities of doing a playthrough of that. Um, fortunately, I don't have anything to record the game on. Uh, because I don't have a working Wii at the moment, and that was. Pretty much the only way I could record any GameCube games because of the progressive scan. And the Roxio only takes. Well, I have the Roxio HD now, so it's not the standard low definition Roxio and whatnot. I upgraded to the high def Roxio, and pretty much the only thing we've done with that so far is record Injustice. I don't really want to say that's a waste because we have a lot of fun, fun doing that. I mean, that's one of the group videos we all take turns doing. Is there anything down here? A door. And a mushroom. This really is themed off of Metroid Prime. Aw, oh, crap. Kill this guy. Dropping bombs like crazy. Yeah, I think I remember how to do this. I think I remember how to do this. Damn it! I have problems with this guy. Okay, save there. I don't know how many times I'm supposed to do that. Does he turn it off when he hits that? Damn it! This is gonna take me a while. And I really had a story I really wanted to talk about. And I think I'm gonna be really focused on trying to kill this guy. Yeah, he does turn it back on. Damn it! Or does it turn on by itself? You know, I really don't know the hitbox of that thing. That thing's not even hitting me. Look at that. Damn it. Can we just save here? How does this work? Am I supposed to hit that off switch like so many times before he dies? Or what am I supposed to be doing here? I don't understand this level. I'm gonna hold on to this one for a while. There we go. This. You can climb the spider climb. Now Mario can climb on the magnetic tracks. It's up to climb on them. Okay, so I think you just did have to hit the off switch so many times. And you know this level, like I said, is really themed off of Metroid Prime. You can tell in its design. Uh, I said I was going to tell a story, and while well, it's not really a story, it's more of a philosophy rant. Um, usually that's not... Oh, sorry. That's usually not my area that I like going into. And part of it has to do with, I saw not only a video about it, but one of my friends posted something 
interesting on Facebook that you know what and it is true about I'm not gonna say Americans in general I'm saying most people that we're looking for the fast tracks in life we're not looking for the experiences we're not looking for work we're, we're trying to get things done fast and we'll try doing it in any way we can um, that comes a lot with what he said and I also saw a video a few months back I'm subscribed to a personal trainer on YouTube called Elliot Hulse um, I take a lot of his advice seriously on what he has to say because I do find it interesting and not only is he a fitness trainer but he does have ideals in philosophy and one of the things he brought up someone asked him a question he'd been working out for a month and hasn't seen any results and he's asking what's up with that well I'm not sure he saw wasn't seeing results I'm pretty sure after a month of working out you will see results crap I did work went into that um, I myself have been through that road where you know what it does get tough because I do weightlifting for working out I don't really do cardio because it really is not my thing to do I mean I have nothing against cardio okay, yeah. I'm here. Well, take this. Um, I was saying cardio is not really my cup of tea. Whoa! Drive one almost hit me. And it's mostly weightlifting stuff that I do. So, uh, while weightlifting is a good way to get in shape, it's probably not the fastest way to lose weight because well weightlifting puts on muscle and muscle is a lot heavier than that damn it also safe up there come on Mario we got this um going back to what I was saying um Elliot Hulse was saying or turn this guy you can't stick to this for a month and hope to see these amazing results. And this goes back to what my friend said about this whole people want to lose weight in like 90 days, people want to lose weight in 30 days, people want to lose X amount of weight that is unreasonable in a short amount of time, like 50 pounds in a month or something like that. And Going back to what I was saying about this philosophy of people are losing the value of hard work and oh what the hell hit me damn okay that's I don't know what hit me right now okay I don't know what was up with those glowing tiles right now. Oh, those glowing tiles will hurt. I didn't quite get enough distance on that one. Okay, so don't touch those flashing tiles on the... on the wall climb. Um, going back to what I was saying about People wanting to see results fast, people wanting the fast tracks to life. Oh, I was standing right on top of it this time. People don't look for working hard and the rewards in life. People want quick, easy routes to everything, whether it be health, money, everything like that. People just lose their value of hard work, people don't want to work for things anymore, people just want things to come to them and that's pretty much what is wrong with society now is that whole you can do this fast, get rich fast, lose weight fast, everything fast 
Um, all this takes hard work, takes time. I know myself, I've been working out for almost a year now. Um, I'm going to be the first to tell you, in a year, it's not going to be like the bow flex where these people look like they're ripped and say they've only done it for a short amount of time, like maybe what, 60 days, 6 weeks. They say you'll see results and in all honesty it takes time to see results of any kind whether it relates to working to gain money, working to get in shape, working for a better lifestyle period. These are not things that are easy. These are things that come with hard work. I know I repeated myself a lot and I really had to get this point across. Damn it. I really had to get that point across. Yes, things take time and people nowadays have lost patience in everything. Um, you see it in a lot of these New Year's resolution gym members where I'm not sure if anyone goes to gyms, anyone works out. Um, at the beginning of the year in January, the gym I go to, which is usually the school gym, I know it, that's usually packed on most weekdays. Um, New Year's Day, around that time, is when you start seeing people flood into the gym like crazy.